All right, today we're going to talk about a problem from Harvard MIT Mathematics Tournament. What's up everyone? Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. And if this is your first time here, thank you for checking out my channel and please consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video. So today we're going to talk about a problem from Harvard MIT Mathematics Tournament or HMMT, which is an event that held by undergraduates from Harvard and MIT for high school students to compete. But don't get fooled by the word high school because when it comes to HMMT, the problem is no joke in terms of difficulty. Alright, so this problem is adapted from 2018 HMMT combinatoric round. I changed the number down so it's a little easier to draw a picture, but in terms of strategy and solution to the problem, it's pretty much the same. And here's how the problem goes. You start off on XY plane as 0, 0, and you want to travel to 6, 6. You want to travel from 0, 0 to 6, 6. You're only allowed to walk on the grid. And also, you're only allowed to walk right and walk up. And one last condition is, probably the most important condition is, you're only allowed to turn odd number of times. And the question is simple. We ask, how many ways can you do it? How many ways can you travel 0, 0 to 6, 6 so that you stay on the grid, you walk right and walk up, and you only turn odd number of times. As an example, if you start off here and then you go like this, then how many times do you turn? You turn, this is first turn, this is the second turn, this is the third turn. So you turn three times. Three is odd, so this is good. And you want to count that as one of your paths from 0, 0 to 6, 6. But if you walk like this, then how many times you turn? You turn one, two, three, four. This is even, so this is bad, right? You don't want to turn four times to get 6-6. Six, six. You only want to turn on number of times. So this is good, this is bad. And all right, this is a good time to do two things. First, you can go down and subscribe to this channel so you see more of this problem later. And second, you can pause the video here and give this problem a try. And I guess I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I guess you're ready and here's the solution. Alright, so I'd like to mention the fact that you probably need to know to understand this solution. So if you have a grid of size m by n, then the number of ways to travel from 0, 0 to point m n without further condition is just m plus n choose m. So basically, the top number will be the sum of two dimensions, and the bottom number will be just one of the dimensions, either width or height. Alright, the key to this problem is to try to understand and simplify the condition that they give to us. Meaning, we ask what does it mean for a path to have odd number of turns. Let's pause and think about this a little bit. So let's say that you start off with you going right and then you keep going right a little bit and if you turn one time, you're gonna go up. Which means what? Which means every time you turn twice, you're gonna go to original direction. Meaning if you start off with right, you turn, turn, you're gonna stay on right. If you start with going right, you turn four times, you will end up going right. And let's apply for 2, 4, 6, 10, 144. As long as you turn even number of times, your direction will be the same as your original direction. And by the same logic, if you turn odd number of times, your direction will be different from the original direction. Meaning if you start off with right, you turn one time, you go up. If you turn three times, one, two, three, you're going up. Likewise, if you turn seven times, you start off with right, you turn seven times, you go up. So if you turn odd number of times, your final direction will be different from your original direction. And the original question asks, what is the number of ways to travel from zero, zero to six, six with odd number of turns? That can be rephrased as how many ways to travel from 0, 0 to 6, 6 so that the original direction and the final direction are different. And that's the first step to simplify the condition. 
So we want to turn odd number of times, which means the final direction and the original direction are different. So there are two cases. So case one, we start off with going right and then we end up with going up. And the second way to have different direction is you start off going up and then you end up going right. So in other ways to travel from 0, 0 to 6, 6, so you turn an odd number of times. You just break down to these two cases. The case where you go right at first and go up at the end, or go up first and go right at the end. All right, and here where the magic happened, okay? So we know for sure in case one that we're gonna turn right first. So you can imagine that you can break the problem down to sub problem as you start off at one zero, and you count how many ways can you travel to this point, which is 6, 5. Then the problem now is simple. The number of ways to travel from 0, 0, 6, 6, so you in case 1, is precisely the number of ways to travel from 1, 0 to 6, 5 with no additional conditions. So the problem is just now this grid. To travel from this point to this point with no condition is 10 choose 5, right? Because there are 5 right and there are 5 up so there are 10 choose 5 here to travel from here to here and likewise this one also gives you 10 choose 5 so what's the answer? it's twice of 10 choose 5 so I personally really like this problem because it seems like a really hard problem you might think that you have to do this problem by a bunch of cases the solution should have been really long but by looking at this problem from different angles simplify the problem a little bit then the problem becomes so much easier and the solution is pretty much like two lines. And that's all I want to talk about today. If you like this problem, don't forget to leave a like down below if you have any more questions or you see any interesting problem that you would like me to go over. Please leave it in the comment section down below. But for today, thank you for watching. My name is Kuang and you're watching N2K. Peace!